Hello everybody and welcome to the first round match between Steve and Kabusta in the 2018 World Cup. Uh, Steve won the toss and chose to receive, but he's facing a blitz. Obviously, both teams with humans. Um, yeah, blitz is pretty brutal, isn't it? Again, I think this guy two spares forward is better um, against a blitz than this formation. But you know, it's still it's always horrible getting blitzed on. Wow, double skull. So at least he got a reroll out of it. <laughs> but he got a guy cast. Uh -huh. So yeah, that's a pretty bad start for Steve there. Um, Steve has a 64% win rate in Champs Ladder and Combuster has a 55% win rate in Champs Ladder. Steve qualified from Rock Paper Shotgun and Combuster OCC. So yeah, both humans, of course, humans quite popular with them being tier 2. Um, block Ogre, 3 guard and a block thrower. I, I, I don't hate the block thrower for, uh, you know, anti Wood Elf in game one. Um, obviously the tackle and the guard. Pretty standard. Oh yeah, some people go mighty blow tackler, such as Kabusta with a mighty blow tackler there. A couple of guard, a block Ogre, and a very strange decision of a block catcher. Um, it's a pretty weird decision, I think, for block catcher, especially as he's not fielding on defense. I mean, I guess that's his idea for his ball carrier, but I'd rather have block sure hands against against war dancers. Um, so you know, he's, he's done a good job here, Steve, freeing up these two players. But it's pretty bad being. Uh, I'm not sure I'd have done that. It's pretty bad, obviously, the blitz and the cast. I'm not sure I'd have done that before just trying to pick up because you need the reroll available on the uh, on the GFI, don't you? And I guess if you fail it and it goes in the crowd, you've lost the game anyway. Or if you just fail it. But you know, six and two threes. I mean, th these are safe blocks, aren't they? With their uh, block. Huge dodge there. These were kind of safe blocks. And you know, having these guys here in case he fails the pickup is good. So, you know, if you'd gone for, just for the pickup first, failed it, and the ball scatters to here. You know, it's better to have them in the way, so I think that was good thing over first. 3D from the Ogre. Block saving him. Like, Block has been very popular with the Ogres, and it's not something I would have taken, but it has. There's, there's loads of times that it's been good. But, you know, there's loads of times having guard on a catcher would be good as well, so. So yeah, Kabusta kind of easing off on the pressure now. You know, he could he could have pushed harder, but he's he's kind of withdrawn. And it looks like Steve has uh, overcome overcome the blitz result. Really, it's obviously not ideal. It's it's way worse than he, it would be if he hadn't been blitzed. But he's at least survived it. And can now try to get back where it was or where it would have been I think I wouldn't have gone so far forward here I think I would have maybe kept the ball behind the ogre not activated the ogre and, and you know just kind of made up kind of yeah, more here than here I think this is a bit close to all the pressure but he has got the team back together as one unit which is good and now that he's activated the ogre it's a lot safer had the ogre gone bonehead, it would have looked a lot worse. Maybe he could have activated the ogre first, and then based on where, what happened, then make the rest of the decisions. It might have been all right. Yeah, he's got the team back together as one. Although he's beset on all sides, um, at least he's got them all together. Oh, they've also both gone um, 12 players with three reels and an apple, which is my preferred preferred human build for players. I wouldn't go any other any other build in terms of roster, to be honest. I think the skills, you know, there's there's a lot of contention with the skills, but wow, 
huge cars. Dead guard, do you apple that? He does apple it and it fails. That's pretty unlucky. I think it's worth apoing the uh, the guard guard blitzer. He's already taken a cars, so it's worth it in numbers. Uh, the first cars will be in this next game. So you know it's the second cars, it's a guard blitzer. I think that's well worth an apple. I agree with that decision. Also, don't forget that um, Steve only has 15 seconds to make this decision. Um, but I think that was a, a good apple for sure. Well, in my opinion, it was a good apple. And I would have, I would have done the same. I'm not sure about the push direction, making him the game, but fair enough. Now he's going to get swarmed, isn't he? Because <laughs> he doesn't have an LOS anymore. It's been two of them have been cast, and now he's just on the run, isn't he? Blitz still had an effect, although, although he recovered down here. Then obviously Kabusta moved all of his guys in front of him, and and just generated more blocks. Got a car, got another cars. I'm not sure I like this. I think I would have screened in front of the cage. That's what I would have done. These two players would have been here and here, just to stop all of the pressure coming in. Because now he could have based the ball with the OB. You know he could have blitzed first um, with a tackler and then got in there. But also, I, th I, I like I actually like I like the way Kabusta's played this. Actually, getting a three dice on the catcher is good because you know that there's a there's a lifeline for Steve if he doesn't make this blitz and kills him. <laughs> um, you know, so I mean, either way would have been good. He could have blitzed. He could have blitzed this guard guy and uh, would have killed him. And then get the ogre in, so you know you're basing the ball with a with a strength five player, and he could have stood him up to keep his ogre out of it. So you know that that would have been a good play as well. But then he would have had the lifeline of the of the catcher out here, wouldn't he? So I think I think you know, Kabusta's played it more conservative than maybe a lot of people would, but I think that's good. You know, he already had the two man advantage. He's already had the blitz, so he kind of Steve didn't get any any kind of momentum on his own drive. So kind of playing safe like this, I quite like, actually. But having said that, there is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could have got the catcher to about here, which maybe is, if you push a different direction. Or, or got a pal, this catcher to run out in front, but then he could reach him with a tackle anyway. Gonna, oh, I was thinking he had to dodge. Of course, it was his own players. Excuse me. So yeah, I quite like that getting the catcher in in scoring range. Um, he can be reached by the mighty bow tackler, so maybe he could have made a GFI because he's also a GFI away from scoring anyway. I'm not sure about his one dice. Though. I would have maybe kept the guard out of the fight um, rather than risking running three turnover. But you know it's it's fair enough. You know I'm I'm not criticizing Steve for that. He's lost. He's been blitzed on, <laughs> taken three cars. His driver is in absolute tatters. Um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> most people would be tilting out of their minds at this point. Um, but I really do like the way the way Kabusta played it. You know, like he's, but he's essentially won the game in three turns. Like this is this is looking horrible for for Steve now, isn't it? It looks like there's no way back. Whereas if he had gone, you know, gone full pressure, maybe he could have escaped. It looks like he's going to be too nice in the tap, the catcher with tackle mighty blow. No, he's not. He's going for the ogre blitz. Now he's going for the basing the ball with an ogre. But would have done if he fouled him. So I guess he's just going to base the catcher with tackle. No, there's a bit of a chance of Steve, isn't there? There's a bit of a chance. If you roll some dice, you can get the catcher and score. How about just rolling a double skull instead, mate? <laughs> Brutal. So, yeah, two dice splits on, on his catcher. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, then a four plus handle. Or just one in nine and lose. <laughs> Basically. 
<laughs> Basically, now it's looking really, really bad again, isn't it? He could uh, he can get two dice with a throw blitz here on the board. Another removal. I like the three dice from the ogre there. Another cast? <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, he, he needed the power actually to get the guard in, didn't he? If he couldn't have got the guard in this way, he would have only had a one dice. But he gets the guard, gets 2D on the ball. Four Kaz in the first five turns. And a Blitz. And a KO. And. Yeah. <laughs> and, a, and a double skull and a 1 in 9 in the same turn. So. Steve may have the argument for unluckiest person at the Royal Cup in the, at the Royal Cup L unluckiest person in the World Cup at this uh, in this game. I think and that is really <laughs> unbelievable. Just basically no chance to win. Now, now a bad player he might have had a chance to win because he might have he might have been able to get the catcher up there or something, or you know he might he might have maybe the blitz there was wrong. You know who who knows who knows how someone else would have played it. But I think against Cabusta. I think Kabusta's played it well enough, you know, I don't think. Like, it's still horrible, obviously, to just lose because of the dice. But I think Kabusta did a really good job of of fully punishing him for the dice, you know. But, yeah. you got to feel for Steve there. That's basically, basically zero chance in his World Cup game. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. And with you know, it's it's so final as well, isn't it? With a four cards an apple gun. He's got at most eight players for the second half to try and turn him over. It's almost impossible. And, that, and that's the funny thing, isn't it? Because if a Wood Elf team had eight players, they could still maybe turn over and win in this uh, turn over and score in the second half. But humans with eight players, not so much. I'm surprised at that blitz. I I think uh, I would have probably just. Surf this guy. But fair enough. You know, I'm not criticizing. Yep, throw a pick up. And Steve is gonna be 1-0 down. Um and well yeah, when I say surf, at least see what happened before with this book before you make the blitz. But that that was quite a good knockdown. If he did if he wasn't knocked down he could roll some dice to get a 1D on the wall. Obviously, Steve's just going to have to try and roll ridiculous dice now to do anything. Not ridiculous enough. And yeah, it's pretty... You've got to feel pretty bad. Not not really getting an offensive drive because of the Blitz. And all these Kaz and KOs. This is probably... I think this is... I'm going to I'm gonna go out and say this was the biggest dicing of the, of the round. I have seen all of the games at this point in time. And, yeah, I think this was the most unfair game because he just never got a chance at all. Um, almost regardless of what decision Steve made, I think he would be, you know, against Kabusta, he wouldn't have had a chance. And it, it's the, the thing, it's not taken away from Kabusta, you know. If he'd been playing somebody who wasn't Kabusta, maybe he would have had a chance. But, you know, it's just... It's just awful, isn't it? Awful to, to, to like. Now, now I don't know how much effort Steve put into qualifying for the World Cup. Some people put in a hell of a lot of effort, and he might have just kind of, you know, played one qualifier and and won it. But um, yeah, that's horrible, isn't it? After, after the effort that so many people have made to just get diced this hard. This is kind of what I was expecting in my first game. It's what I'm expecting my second game now. <laughs> you know, just a boatload of cars and no chance in hell. Foul with, foul with a guard blitzer, why not? Why not? It can't get any worse. I mean, you know, he could have made a Kaz there and not get sent off. And that, that was the right that was the right play to make. It was it was low chance of success, high risk, but very high reward, wasn't it? So, so that was exactly the kind of play to make there. Can't fault Steve at all. 
and you can't fault the Buster at all, really, I don't think. I think they both played it, you know, as well as they could have done. It just absolute stupid dice has decided it. But also the good play from Gabuster, because, yeah, as I say, someone else could have got both, all those cars in that blitz, and they could have messed it up, or given him a lifeline. And, and yeah, Gabuster has, has definitely, you know, finished it. Finished him off. <laughs> Finished Steve off brutally. But eight players, he's got some kind of chance. So it's it's really not over yet. But wow. Brutal, brutal dice. He's got the mighty blow to blitz with every turn as well to grind him down more. A little bit surprised at the tackle on this side. I would have had it on the other side to blitz this catcher. I mean, the the movement eight is and the dodge is the only thing that's really realistically giving um, giving Steve a chance in this game. So I think I would have maybe had the mighty blow tackler over here, not on the LOS, so he couldn't be blitzed if it was a blitz at the moment. This, if there'd been a blitz, the ogre could have hit him. I think I'd have had him off the LOS, screened, ready to blitz the catcher. But you know, this is <laughs> this is not a criticism of Cabusta saying that. Huh? It's just you know this, that's me with the advantage of not actually being in this World Cup match and not having you know nerves or pressure or anything from a purely being good at blood ball stance. I think that would have been a the better play. But yeah, I mean, Steve shouldn't give up here, should he? Always down to eight players. Um, which sucks. And he's getting mighty blow hit every turn. Which sucks. He's getting to make mighty blow hits of his own each turn. And uh, if he gets lucky, something could happen. I think that wasn't the way. I think he should have blitzed. Blitz with the ogre somewhere. You know, two dice with block. Better than one dice without. <laughs> Block mighty blow, you know, if he blitzes this this either the under, the defenseless guy or a blitzer. Gets a lucky card. I mean he got KO'd himself, didn't he? That that with I know that I know the dice don't matter at all. But with those dice rolls he would have KO'd a blitzer. And then it would have been ten versus eight and not not as bad. But you certainly you certainly wouldn't forgive Steve if he was tilted off the face of the planet after after that first half. Absolutely ridiculous. Three dice. Got a got to like setting up three dice for your big guys. So he's kind of defending, defending as best he can with seven players, with seven human players, is the key thing. Agility three. I mean, they've still got this one's got dodge. He's still, for the most part, got agility three. They can still roll dice and still have a chance. So like, so Kabusta still does have to remain focused and and do the best he can to make sure they don't roll any dice, like you know, or have as you know ridiculous. Ridiculously low chances possible of rolling some dice to win. Three dice blocks are good. Maybe blocking with a loan are not so good, but it it was a three dice with block, so pretty safe. I mean, this is it. It's just it's just it's just kind of like turning the screw, isn't it? And, being as safe as possible. 
no rush to get forward. But he has got a bit forward and it isn't that safe. <laughs> okay, the guard makes it a lot more safe. And then this guy here. He would have preferred to hit the catcher, I think, just for value. I think you know, the movement eight and the edge, the, the, the dodge is going to give more chances than, than just having the blitz. Here. Yeah, the bad thing about blitzing his ogre over here was now he's out of the plane, got a blitz again. He's gone for the gone for the mighty low tackle, but I mean it doesn't it doesn't matter. <laughs> it basically doesn't matter now. I don't really know what Steve can do with no players to do anything here. Not a lot you can do really, is there? He can he can pass every roll, yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? So, you know, at the end of the game, that that looks a bit luckier, but already his luck doesn't matter from here on out unless it's it's unless it's completely outrageously ridiculous. You know, one of the luckiest anyone's but ever been in a blood ball game. His luck pretty much doesn't matter from here on out. So it was already lost in the first time. Guard on each cage corner, perfect. So it's a six plus dodge in, then an uphill block. So, about as safe a cage as you can make. And of course, at this point, a second touchdown kills it. Six plus in. Doesn't even re-roll it. Probably, probably given up. Can't blame him. They're probably just going to pass turns now, I guess. Obviously, Kabuster wants to make it as safe as possible. Which actually isn't. It was actually safer on alternate corners. There's actually a place to hit him from now. But it looks like it looks like Steve's giving up, which is absolutely, absolutely fair. He's done the right thing, make it everything as hard as possible. Bone heads. And he hasn't given up, but you know, might as well have done. This would have been better to have four three and then double two double one double two plus, you know, he could have gone four three two two six uphill block. I would have liked that more than a, than an Olga Blitz if you're trying to win the game. Still. But even then, what do you even do if you do it? You know, it, it's done, isn't it? It's just done. Even if he made that ridiculous move, then he would have had to have like a scatter that went back all the way to here. And then this guy would have to pick it up and then long bomb it to this one or something, you know. He's he's absolutely given up, which is which is fair enough. But you know, Kabusta played well, and and you know, you know, did all the right things to uh, to put it out of doubt. And Steve didn't get the chance to play, which is which sucks, doesn't it? It sucks getting to the World Cup and just not even getting to play your game, basically. Uh, absolutely 
fully decided by the dice in about three turns. I mean, even even marginal dice are going to make it hard to beat. You know, a lot of the coaches in this in this World Cup. Um, one game, one game in particular. I thought, oh yeah, Gaday versus Gaday Nick versus Wolfbark. I think that was the closest match. I really do think that could have gone either way. Um, there wasn't any really. Well, there was. Yeah, I think I think Gaday Nick. You know. He, he kind of failed his uh, he failed his leaps or his one DBs or his recoveries, and then he won in thirty sixth. You know, but it, it, I think he did get the worst of the luck. But there wasn't any there wasn't any crazy luck. So if 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 you know if if he had had a little bit more luck, he would have won. And if he'd had a little bit, if he got a little bit less, and he lost. But it was only a tiny little bit less. They both played pretty much perfectly. Pretty much, and in this, obviously, Kabusta's played pretty much perfect, and Steve just hasn't had the chance. It really wouldn't have mattered what he'd done. I don't think in that game, really, really was. Just didn't didn't get a chance. But con congrats to Kabusta for closing it out. Steve wants his last turn of the World Cup. Pass to the other roller, that would be good. Or a foul. Maybe a little foul. seem like because a, a, a lot of the other dicings or all games where there was a lot of bad dice for one side that their, their decision still had a big factor on the outcome and and you know this one I, I there's probably nothing he could have done really absolute murdered murdered by the dice but again murdered by the dice and Kabusta Kabusta played it pretty much perfectly um, so there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.